day 34 of the 90 day video challenge and today's been a beautiful Saturday. I spent quite a bit of time contemplating on the conversation that I had last night um, which I did mention yesterday when I was like <laughs> about to pass out because I'd been thinking all week. Um, a little bit about two things. So one thing is that it's really important to get a mentor or someone that has a lot of experience that can help you move towards the path that you want to go to. Um, I've noticed that people that are doing well right now um, have invested in themselves into getting a mentor or a coach as opposed to spending money on other things that you know isn't about you know learning about or progressing mentally um, on other material things like I don't know alcohol, clothes, motorbikes, um, shoes, <laughs> and whatnot. So I'm going to look into investing in myself by getting some sort of mentor and paying money to do that. Um, second thing is, um, I sort of realized one of my strengths that I had, and that was um, someone else that pointed this out to me. And then I started thinking about events that or things that I've done in the past and what my role was based on those events and I found that a lot of the things that I do I'm actually and this is sort of based on a little um kind of like Myers-Briggs personality test but this is a bit more new age um, it's by Wealth Dynamics um, and I did the test <laughs> Polly's making notes and <laughs> worked out that I'm a supporter which is sort of on one of the, it's like a circle like that, and I'm on the top, like one or two o'clock of this quadrant, and the top is creator, this side is supporter, the bottom is trader, and the one over there, stop it, is um, is um, lord or something. Anyway, I'm sort of across, I'm sort of between the not so much on the creator side but more on the like supporter side which is the person that supports the creative person's idea and I kind of facilitate and make it happen and um, sort of thinking back to things that I've done in the past one of which I remember was um, my friend who I met yesterday Jono and I um, he came up with an idea to do like graduate lunchtime talks when I worked at Arab and I was like, yeah, I love the idea. Okay, let's do it. And then we made it happen. And I got really into it, like really motivated and energized and felt like it worked. And then um, what else have I done? Other things. I kind of feel like that other people come up with ideas. And then if I get on board those ideas, then I work to make it happen and support that person. Oh, yeah. Like um, my friend Shani at work, she's organizing a, a really cool New Year's camping party and I love the idea I think it's really great and I'm really wanting to be part of it you know to to help make that become a really beautiful thing I think that's also why I enjoy making videos and being sort of presenting in videos because ultimately the video is not about me it's about me facilitating and bringing out the information on whatever the topic is so I'm going to meet Joe um, one of my architecture friends next Thursday to talk about what he wants to you know present to you know, the internet, the YouTube internet world about what he thinks architecture is about and I want to be the one that facilitates that and asks him the questions and gets the right questions asked so he can give out the right answers and I sort of do see that as a supporter role um, so I'm really thinking hard about you know, do I really want to come up with my own business maybe I should just find someone that's aligned to what I want to do and support them and help facilitate and make that happen because I'd love to be someone that promotes it or that asks the questions or is sort of the face of, of whatever that business idea is. Um, but it's not it's not about me, it's about the thing or the product, right? So, if anyone needs a supporter, I'm here. What I'm interested in is presenting, television presenting, um, making videos, uh, getting up on stage and doing talks. Um, languages, I also had another idea but I'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow um, maybe teaching English, doing workshops running cool cultural events where people that are learning to speak English they can get out of the classroom and 
go and do something cool and cultural in Sydney, but then also practice their English. That was Jono's idea. Thanks, John. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Dance workshops, facilitating workshops. So anyway, I'm just rambling, but um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about what this, ident this identity that I've discovered can bring out. So um, if you're interested in learning more about this, it's by Wealth Dynamics. Um, let me know and I can give you, send you a link and you can do a little online test and it will help you determine what kind of personality you are and how that would fit in a business if you wanted to create one. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.